Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today is Monday, which means it's time for an episode of Loadout, the series where you guys, the viewers, get to pick a weapon and customization for me to use in Battlefield 4. The way you do this is you leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of weapon and accessories you'd like me to run with, and I will pick one of the top-rated comments for the next episode. Today's top comment comes from a veteran top commenter here. I think he's had like three or maybe even four Loadout selections at this point. Sir Samuel McGreal says the January sales Loadout primary is the Bulldog, with a coyote sight, heavy barrel, and stubby grip. And maybe you're looking at this footage and saying, hey, that's not the bulldog, that's the og. Now allow me to explain the insane brain fart that I had when reading this and how I came to using the og. First of all, when I read the comment, I read bulldog as bull pup. Then my brain went, hey, the bull pup in Counter-Strike is the og, right? And somehow my brain was like, oh, this comment says to use the og. I don't know how I came to that conclusion, and I only realized that I was using the wrong gun until after I edited all the footage and then was rereading the comment. It was like, oh crap. That being said, the loadout still works really well with the AUG, and I was able to go on some crazy kill streaks with it. Now, for the sidearm, we have the 44 Magnum with the mini red dot sight and the laser light combo. Grenade is the RGO Impact. Gadget 1 is the med bag for free healthcare. Gadget 2 is the M323GL, and then we're going to be using the scout knife. And as always, Samuel McGreal has an interesting little story to back up this loadout. Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and pre-Christmas sales have come and gone, but we are out looking to clean up the January stores. You have brought your trusty bulldog, or og in this case, along to help with the madness. Though pets aren't allowed in most stores, he will make quick work of anyone trying to make off with a half-priced 40-inch TV. If there's a surge for laptops, throw down some free healthcare. No one can resist the aid. Finally, the grenade launcher is good for removing cues to the till. You need to be in and out fast in order to secure the electronics. Good luck in the anarchy and may your wallet recover quickly. All right, now perhaps this comment wasn't in the best taste overall, especially in the US. We have a couple issues here with public shootings and stuff like that. So suggesting to use a weapon on Black Friday, not the best thing overall. And I certainly don't wanna support that kind of message. So let's just look at this comment for what it is, just a funny little anecdote to help us pick a loadout for Battlefield 4. And here we are on Metro. I played a little bit of Rush. I played a little bit of Conquest. I still like this map. It's good. It makes me feel like I'm playing Battlefield 3. There's a lot of cover. It feels like a cover shooter once again. Infantry focused. It's fun to play on, uh, although still very choke pointy at certain points on the map. The thing I most like about Metro is that the map design allows you to basically play at your own speed, your own skill level. If you die on this map, it's almost always because of a fault you made. You pushed up too aggressively. Um, you didn't check your flanks, you forgot to check behind you, you weren't paying attention to the mini-map cues, something like that. Whereas in other Battlefield games, other Battlefield maps, you could just blow up randomly from a mortar, a UCAV, a uh, sniper across the map, a lot of things that you couldn't anticipate or see or predict or uh, even plan for if you are uh, a highly experienced player. But Metro is the sort of map that really puts the skill back in the shooter, or rather the strategy back in the shooter. In fact, this map really embodies the word cover shooter. It's something that I've been thinking about a lot more, that word, just what it represents in the type of game, because we get a lot of milsim games now, Battlefield sort of evolved into these more realistic map designs in Battlefield 4, where you get these big open planes. It's something that uh, strays away from the concept of cover shooter, where there's gonna be a lot of cover around you at any given point, and you can use it to uh, aid you in firefights and have prolonged firefights where you're engaging an opponent, you peek out from cover fire, they peek out from cover fire, and you have this ongoing firefight instead of two people meeting each other on an open plane and just firing until one of you dies. Now how about the heavy barrel and stubby grip addition to this weapon? Yes, it was intended for the bulldog, but it also works on the AUG. The heavy barrel and stubby grip gives me a much tighter burst of fire when shooting prolonged bursts. So it basically means that most of my fire can go in one location and I don't have to tap fire the weapon as much. In layman's terms, you can just call it an accuracy increase, just a better accuracy increase over time, not just your initial shot. Now, when it comes to the 3GL grenade launcher, I don't think I really like it better than the standard M320. Yeah, the M320 just has that ability to do a one-shot kill 
Um, if you hit somebody directly, it's very good. The 3GL, you pretty much need to fire your entire barrage. However, if somebody's injured and they're trying to get away, then the 3GL can be a very good weapon, but um, I almost like the MGL is a good way to either start off a kill or get somebody out of a pesky little spot very quickly. A lot of the time, you don't have time to peek around a corner and fire off all three shots, which is where the M320 has the advantage. You can just peek and fire one high damaging grenade. Now here we are on Rush Gold Mud Railway, holding off the forces, not too hard to do on this map. I think it's one of the more imbalanced Rush maps at the start of the game, but uh, I see some enemy coming up and I see a little IED box next to me. Detonate it, get two kills. Rarely does that happen. In fact, I can't even remember the last time I actually detonated an IED with the explosive box and got kills. Kind of crazy. Now, of course, we can't have an episode of Loadout without some TDM in there. It really is the best way to get that consistent infantry action in Battlefield 4, unless you get into that perfect rush server, but uh, those are few and far between. Now, this AUG is one of those assault rifles that I can just pick up in pretty much any situation and have a good time with it. It's a very consistently performing weapon. Rate of fire, 700 rounds per minute. Minute. definitely capable it's not going to out damage your AEKs or anything like that but it shouldn't be the reason that you are losing firefights it's a very accurate weapon the reload time is middle of the range 2.5 everything on this gun is kind of uh, middle of the range but at the same time very familiar and very comfortable and of course we've also got the minimalistic coyote sight helping out for spotting targets I've still got my pink red dot sight on there. I mean, it's not realistic, but for some reason, DICE gave us the option to change the color of our red dots there. Um, so I may as well make it pink because when it comes to video games, I feel like pink is really the only thing that stands out against just about every color and texture I run into. If this guy's blue, pink stands out against that. If there's a giant red explosion where you might normally lose a red dot sight, pink will still stand out against that red explosion. And of course it stands out against any dark colors. Now is this a realistic coloration choice? Not really. Maybe on the coyote, there's a lot of different variations of this optic in real life. You can do red, green, I believe even blue on some of them. Some other optics also have yellow but I don't know if I've actually seen pink or magenta on an actual real life optic. Anyway this loadout is a beast you can absolutely go to town with it. I would switch out the 3GL for the standard M320. Um, the way that the AUG is set up though is perfectly fine. I don't know if you need the heavy barrel and stubby grip but it certainly works well with this weapon. But anyway that wraps it up for this episode of loadout. Thanks for watching guys don't forget to leave your comments down below for next week's episode. I'll try and read them correctly this time and as always I'll see you next time this is level cap signing off